Hello everyone. For those of you that are going to be watching this for the first time, I want to give you a little preview how it all began. In fall of 2015, I made a patio shop with a makeshift roof that kept me protected from a summer heat and in a winter. This roof kept me cool in the summer and dry in the winter time. I kept something heavy so the roof wouldn't blow off in the wind. Once the rain or the sun was not over me, I would take the roof down. I used to grind on the floor. Later on, I installed a pallet as my table to get the grinder a little bit higher off the ground. Then in May 2019, I upgraded my outside patio shop with a better roof and more workspace. Still, I kept the height of the roof below the fence line. This way, no one would know I had a knife shop in the apartments. Now we're skipping to March 2021. I'm installing a rock solid epoxy to protect the concrete floor from the metal shavings and rust that will be created from uh, working on my knives. It cost me close to $300 to get it done. And you can watch my previous video on the installation that I did. This is my new space for the knife shop. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of the products you're going to see in this video. I've seen plenty of videos of knife makers on YouTube with white walls and painted my garage walls with white semi-gloss paint. But then I realized that I didn't like the look of the white walls. I ended up repainting the walls with an eggshell interior paint called Smoky Trout by Bear from Home Depot. I'm not a painter by trade, but I like how this paint covered previous white walls. And here we are done with the paint job. In my next future shop, I want to paint the ceilings with black paint. Safety first. Later on, I ended up moving the fire extinguisher down because I had to fit the paper towels right above it. I had to cover the water heater because I didn't want it to be an eyesore. A couple of metal table panels from uh, IKEA solved that problem. I took a TV entertainment center out of my living room, cut it in half. Uh, because of the concrete wall that you see in the back of the left corner of this video, I had to cut the bottoms off. This way the cabinet would sit tight to the wall. Here I'm working on adjustable legs. I did this because the garage floor is sloping towards the garage door. I installed the metal rail that would support the top piece for my TV entertainment center where it was uh, hung from the wall. A couple of paint cans and a help of my son and uh, it's up hanging on the wall. Later on I secured the cabinet to the wall with screws. I bought this laser from Amazon for $43. I secured the white brackets that I bought from Home Depot to the wall studs using the wood screws. Brackets cost me around $140. Countertops were purchased from IKEA. I got them while they were on sale for $60 each. Don't lift it by yourself.
just a little tip because the brackets were not all identical i had to use the washers on the bottom of the countertops to get the countertop level i went with darker color countertops and painted the walls darker color to help me with the dynamic range of my camera I tried to cover all the ugly parts with pegboard from Ikea. To properly hide the wires, I used the 2-inch hole covers from Lowe's. I purchased the hooks for the belt and the uh, 12 outlet power strip from the uh, Harbor Freight. I decided to use a mid-price range uh, metal peg board from a uh, wall control. There are more expensive options out there. This one cost me approximately $323 for nine panels. I got them while they were on sale. In my previous apartment shop, I used the hardboard peg board and over the time it wore, I could not hang anything heavy from it. And that is the reason why I went with the metal versus the hardboard this time. I ran one inch runners on the wall and secured them into the wall studs. This way I could secure the metal pegboards anywhere I wanted and not worry about finding the wall studs. I absolutely love this part. I have so much space now compared to my apartment backache. This is nice. I get questioned a lot, what blades do I use for my Milwaukee bandsaw? I use either Lennox or DeWalt 14 TPI, it's teeth per inch blades. As you notice, not knowing where and how I will be using my shop, I did my best to organize everything on the wall. Not everything is set in stone. I will move things around once I get the feel of the workflow.
I decided to change the fluorescent lights with the Omni Ray lighting. They cost me $92. Easy to install. They they do use a European wire color code, so look it up which one's uh, which one's hot, which one's neutral. I set a junction box where my previous light used to sit and installed two switches to control both sides of the shop. I ran an extra light over the drill press, this way I, if I have to drill for a long periods of time, I don't need to run all the lights in the shop. To get rid of the echo in the shop, I installed two flags. I live in USA, California, and I am a US citizen, but I also am a second generation Russian by blood. I ordered the flag poles from Amazon for $45 and the American flag for $15. Russian flag was brought to me by my wife when she would visit Russia in 2011. This flag was waiting for me 10 years to be hung in the new shop. Gear wrench stool was purchased from Amazon for $79. I bought it because it sits 26 to 31 inches high. I can work comfortably next to my vise and then slide down and work at the bench height. After installing all the lights, I had still one more LED left and I used metal plumbing pipe to create the rotating bar. This way I could have extra light over my workbench or where the device is located. Pipe and the fittings cost me approximately $37. I ran the wire behind the wall and put a switch under the bench. and a little bit of decorations to cover the door. And here I am organizing small hardware. On the bottom of the bins I write down the size, this way it makes easier later on to order replacements.
On the other side, I have parts for Kydex holsters. I place film over the garage doors. This way I would have privacy and peace of mind and no, no one would see my tool collection. I upgraded my feet with the new pair of shoes that have a flat top. You know, this way the grindings, when they fall down and uh, all the steel, they don't fall inside the shoelaces. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of my new shop and maybe it gave you some ideas how to improve your work area. Thanks for supporting my channel with your presence. I plan to make more exciting videos for you. I hope this video brightened up your day. Take care.